Hey guys, welcome to the new video of AG Framework. Today we are going to install the MXC Store Present MXC Jewelry Pack. So first of all, you need to visit their official TBEX website. I will provide you the link in description after reaching to the website. You need to click on the product section here. You can see the multiple categories you can buy the single script or single MLO. Both are available in their website, but today we are going to install the jewelry pack for that. You need to click on the pack section here. You can see the jewelry pack. Just click on add to cart. Make sure to add the discord now. Go to the checkout. Then MXC store provides us some special coupon code to our customers. After availing the discount, continue your payment. After completing your payment, you will receive the script on your key master ID. Here you can see I already got it. First one is the MLO and second one is the script. We need to download them. Just click on download and save it to your computer. Then open the file, click on extract here. You need to extract both of them as I am already extracted them here. You can see just copy it and paste it to your main server directory as here is the MLO. Make sure the MLO has some special setup for this MLO configuration. Here you can see the optional settings. After opening this, you can find two files. One is the, if you have maps on this area that may or might have conflict. And second one is the, if you don't have the latest build version. I'll show you both of them. If you have the map on conflict like Hogs Pops or Gun Store, anything like Luxury Auto, City Hall, if you are having this type of MLOs in your server, then you need to just open the file and replace them as following the readme section. Here you can see. So just follow the readme section and you will good to go. Still, if you have any problem, you can join our Discord server or join their server for the support. And next one is the, if you don't have the latest build version, you need to just copy them and paste to the stream directory of the file. I just don't do this for now, but I'll show you where to paste. You can paste it over there in the YTD section. You can paste if you don't have the latest build version. That's it. Now just copy the file and ensure it to the map section. After that, open the jewelry pack. It is the main script of the jewelry robbery. Also, you need to follow the dependencies utility libits. On the GitHub, I will provide the link also then Vangelico jewelry map. By MXC script, it's applicable if you don't buy the pack of jewelry script. Now, first of all, you need to open the item section. Here you can find both of the inventory configuration AX and QB, and also the images. First of all, we need to open our inventory sections as I am using the AX inventory. Just opening it. After opening it with Visual Studio Code, you need to copy the items and paste it to your AX inventory as I am using the AX. So I'll just paste it on AX inventory. If you have any QB inventory or anything else, you can easily configure it without any issue. Here you can see I have pasted it on item.lue already. I'll just close this. Go back to the main script. Here you can see the images are there. Just copy it and go to your designated inventory. As I am using the aux, well, I'll just go to the web section and images and just now paste it. If you have any conflict, just replace it. It will automatically replace them. Now that's it. You don't need to change anything about the script configuration. Just now open the script again. Here you can see the configurations, two configurations files. First of all, you need to open the config out Lua. Here you can get the option of target. If you are using any type of custom target, you can just place them here. As I am using the basic QB target, so I'll just don't do anything about that. Second is the debug section. If you want to see what's going on, if any errors are coming, then you can enable the debug easily. Then third one is the bank reset time. After emptying the proper scenario, the bank will restart. In five minutes, if someone hear it, don't restart. And main one is the trigger timing. In 30 seconds, it will trigger the alarm. You can easily configure it as your requirement. And then here is the cameras. You can enable the outline of the cameras. Whereas the cameras are there, you can directly enable the outlines or disable them as you need. Also, you can enable the markers for the highlighting C6 TV. As in my case, I will just leave it on default. And most important thing is the shutter systems. As shutters are there, if you want to close them, you can directly enable it to true. It will don't close the shutter. And main is the screwdriver and shutter jewelries. It's the main command for the jewelry shutter to open through police officers. And here is the item to open the shutters as we can replace it to lockpick. Also, as your need, I'll just don't do anything. And main one is the job selections. 
If you are using the latest script on latest QB build, you can do in the police section, or if you are using the old one, you can directly use the grade system based on the systems who can directly open the shutter. I'll just use the normal police to open the shutter. Also, there is the translation. If you want to use the translation, you can use this without any issue. And here is the bars. If you are using the any type of offsets that you want to customize, you can directly customize the bars. Also, same goes to the blips. You can customize the blip without an issue, and there is an interaction for the hacking devices and other things. You can change it or configure it if you are using the text UI. It is the basic stands for the configuration. The vault values, you can configure it as your needs. And here is the configuration for items module. Here you can see the item models are there. You can directly on the required items or disable it. And you can also find the stand amount. Also the how much you will get in the loot. You can directly configure it based on the amount of jewelries here is the artifacts and their items. You can configure it or add it as your need as we already use the items for the script. So we don't change anything. And here is the mini game. And mini game also comes with the required items. You can enable it or disable it. And last, not the least, is the COP system. You can enable the COP system based on your SO requirement. You can add the required COPs for that. That's it, just save it and close the file. Now we'll go to the configuration for the functions. You get all type of functions are there for ESX and other configurations, like want to set the dispatch call for your custom dispatch, like PS dispatch or anything else, you can configure it from here. Also, the snippets are, there are already posted in Discord. You don't need to worry about that. You can also change the target modules without any issues. That's it now. Close this file. Here is the audio directory for the jewelry systems. You don't need to change anything about that. Just copy the file and paste it to your main server directory as I have already pasted it. I don't need to change anything about that. Now let's see how the MXC jewelry works in game. Hey guys here, you can see I am in game and the Vangelico script is working properly with the MLO. Here you can see the MLO. It's the properly working interior of the MLO. Now I'll show you the MLO here. You can see it is a full furnace, proper Vangelico MLO with multiple features. I'll show you the all scripting details also. So first of all, you need to have on duty police job. If you set the police on duty count, make sure to follow this on the config also, just like I am having the one police officer on duty so I can do the robbery for now. You can make it zero as you want. So first of all, you have multiple option to break in the door. First of all is the, we are having the assault rifle. We can directly target them and break this. Here you can see the alarm also started. You can break this cameras to increase the alarm duration because after ending the time, the shutters are closed and you cannot rob without hacking other things. So another option is you can directly fire on these glasses for that you need to set ammo here. You can see it takes lots of bullets, but works properly. And you can also use the bat or any type of melee weapon things. Here you can see the shutters are properly down and with the proper sounds, now you need to hack the panel for doing the robbery. You cannot do the robbery here. You can see even if you are having the class three weapon, you cannot rob this. You need to do the hack first, then you can rob the other thing here. You can see the panel. You need to hack the electric box for continuing the robbery here. You can see the mini games are pretty interesting and new in this segment. You can see we need to maintain the pattern. I'll just quickly do this here. You can see the proper animations and sounds are there. And now it's loot able. Again, you can see, I can loot this again. You can also config the looted items as for your needs. Now I'll show you the main hack. That's the vault mini game hack for this. You need to follow the pattern. And how do you get the pattern? You need to follow the Easter eggs. I'll show you the Easter eggs also in all over this MLO. You can find this type of card and it says the number where to place and which items should be placed. So you can find all the details all over the MLO. It has multiple patterns. Make sure to note it properly. Also, the patterns are shifting. So don't need to worry about the patterns of Easter eggs are fully random. After that, I'll just do the fast forward for the combination. All here you can see the vault is now open. Now we need to cut the glasses. For that, we need to have the glass cutter in our inventory. Here you can see I started the glass cutting and it's working properly. You can see the heat meter in the down below. You can see the heat meter working properly and seeing the system properly without any issue. 
we get the item with proper sound and animations. Same goes to the diamond also. We need the same item, we need to press it properly to get it done with. First try. You can see this animations properly without any issue or lag and delay in our script now. For this, we need to break the self glass with the any type of item or gun. For that, we are having the AK-47. We'll just set the ammo and start firing. Here you can see the glass was broken. Same goes to the table glass. You can see we started looting the items after that. We need to loot the other items also. You can also configure the received item based on your server. You can get the all configurations. Now we are completed the vault looting. Also, we are having other item in the office to loot. Also, you can loot the banana. Also, golden banana. You can also loot these items also in the boss table. Here you can see after the loot, the police also be notified. Here you can see, you can also configure with the PS dispatch. Here you can see I'm having the PS dispatch with proper notifications. So it's working properly without any issue. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.